Hello guys, it's Victor once again bringing you application and scholarship tips. So today we'll be talking about an interesting topic and it's about moving directly from an undergraduate degree to a PhD. That is moving from a BSc or a BA or a BPhil directly to a PhD. So in case you're not aware, this is very, very possible. It is possible to move directly from an undergraduate degree to a PhD. And today we'll be looking at examples from the US, particularly at universities from the US. And then um, some people say, yes, it is possible, but just for science-based courses. So for courses like um, physics, chemistry, engineering, and things like that. But um, I'm happy to tell you that those in the social, social sciences as well can move directly from a BA or BSc to a PhD. And I have several examples here. So I have like five different universities to show you with different courses and um, whether STEM or non-STEM. So I have UC Berkeley, University of California, Berkeley. I have examples from University of Alabama. I have example from um, Florida International University. I have another example from University of Texas. I have yet another example from University of South Carolina. And there are hundreds of other examples out there to show you how you can apply directly from a BSc or a BA to a PhD regardless of um, your field. So if you know you want a PhD, there's a way you can just skip that master's hurdle and go straight to a, a PhD. And that is what I'll be showing you today. Um, first important point is that a master's is important. So if you have a master's, do not feel cheated because it is important and I'll be showing you why. Most of these universities offering direct um, BSc to PhD also value masters and in fact most masters or most PhD courses in the US have what they call embedded masters so in your first and second year you do like a masters and then in your third year in your third year onwards you have to do begin your PhD and that is why PhDs generally in the US are longer than PhDs in countries like the UK or other countries in Europe so in UK you have like three to four year um, program for a PhD and in the US you have like five six seven or even eight years of program because of this embedded future I'm talking about so there's always um what I call there's always an embedded masters within this PhD and if you have a masters coming in to do a PhD it is also possible to transfer some credits to make it easier for you or to make it the program shorter for you so why others are doing like two year coursework you're doing just one year coursework for your PhD because you have a master's already. So I haven't said that if you have a master's, don't feel bad or cheated. You did something well and your PhD application would even be more competitive. So let's go back to those moving directly from a BSc to um, a PhD. So let, let's look at an example from UC Berkeley, University of California, Berkeley. This is one of the um, popular universities. And this is quite interesting. This is the political science department. Very soon we'll be looking at departments in um, things like chemistry and um, and um, biochemistry and the rest in other universities. But now let us start with the non-STEM discipline because a number of people claimed that you cannot get a direct PhD in a non-STEM discipline. But this is an example of how um, that is possible. So this is UC Berkeley. This is their website. And then um, for PhD um, political science, and this is the frequently asked question, frequently asked questions um, um, portion of the website. And look at this question here: Do you offer a master's degree? They said no. We only offer the PhD in political science. You earn a master's degree on your way. To receiving a PhD, but we do not offer the MA for non PhD students. So, this is an interesting one. We have different varieties in different universities. In this particular university, UC Berkeley, they do not offer a separate master's course 
for political science. So if you're looking for just a master's in political science, UC Berkeley is not for you because they offer a PhD where there's an embedded master's. And if you're registering for the course, you're registering for the PhD and not for the master's. So not all courses are like this. And anyway. I'm just showing you this as an example of how some university operates. So if you're thinking of a PhD in political science, I think you should go for UC Berkeley. And in the process of earning that PhD, your first two years, you do a number of coursework, and that will earn you a master's. But they do not have a separate program for a master's in political science. So let's check with another university, because this is like peculiar to UC Berkeley. So this is the University of Alabama, another popular, another popular school. So this is um, a PhD application as well, also Department of Political Science. We're still in the non-STEM or social science um, field. And this is what they say, pay attention to the admissions requirement. They said admission to the PhD program requires either a bachelor's or a master's degree. So either a bachelor's or a master's degree, applicants must submit scores of the graduate record examination, that's the GRE, all students admitted to the PhD program without the master's, this is very important, take note, all students admitted to the PhD program without a master's degree will be required to undergo an evaluation of their progress in the program by the Graduate Studies Committee and after the completion of um, 27 hours of residence. So this is interesting. So they say if you're interested in political science, in the University of Alabama, you can come with just a BSc if you have a master's, that's wonderful. But if you're coming with a BSc, you have to undergo some kind of um, undergo some kind of evaluation. It's just similar to the coursework I told you about. You have to do an equivalent of um, a master's and they will check your progress before they um, um, upgrade you to a full-blown PhD. But if you're coming already with a master's, that is an advantage for you. You might not have to go through this process. So I hope that is clear. And I think there's actually an MA in political science here in Alabama. So if you don't want to do a PhD, you just want to stop with an MA or an MSc in political science, that is also fair. So take advantage of it. So this, we've seen two varieties now of non-STEM BSc to PhD. UC Berkeley says there's actually no master's course in that department. Just move from a BSc to a PhD, there's an embedded master's there. And here, saying so you can either come with a master's or a BSc, but if you come with a BSc, there's like an additional work you have to you have to do. So let's move, let's move to a different university. So this is Florida International University, and this is the Department of Biochemistry. Department of Biochemistry. Pay attention to the applications requirements. So here it is just very clear. Have a bachelor's degree or equivalent from a recognized institution of higher education. Just a bachelor's degree. And remember we're talking about a PhD. So for them, a bachelor's degree is sufficient. And they said get a minimum GPA of M3. And of course your scores for and GRE and the rest of them. So here, the bachelor's degree, you are good to go. No extra requirements, no extra qualification. Just get a good bachelor's degree and you can apply directly to the Florida International University for a PhD in biochemistry. I'm just using this course as an example. There are several other courses in this university where you can apply directly. So just for the sake of um, this example, I'm using particularly biochemistry. So here there is no hurdle. BSc is straight to PhD. Let's look at yet another example. So this is the University of um, Texas. And this is a little bit um, this is a little bit different from what we saw in Florida. Let me make it a little bit, bit bolder so you see the difference I'm talking about. You see the difference I'm talking about. So here, they are cautioning, listen to the caution. They said undergraduate or industrial research experience must be extensive, well-documented and well-articulated in your essay and reference letters, and letters of reference. So this is a PhD in chemistry, 
So they say if you come in, you should come with extensive experience. Yes, a bachelor's degree, but show that you have experience. This is a little bit different from what we saw in um, Florida because there's no uh, mention of experience, so to say. Why it is experience is always an added advantage. But here there's this insistence that yes, we admit undergraduates into direct PhD, but come with some kind of experience, some kind of um, relevant experience, lab experience in chemistry to make your application competitive without this experience, without this exposure. Um, you can't be competitive. So here they require bachelor's degree, but um, work experience in chemistry. So let's move to another another um, university. So this is University of South Carolina. And this is the Department of Anthropology, PhD in Anthropology. This is, again is a non-STEM humanities um, art-based um, course. And this is the applications requirement. They talk about transcript, GRE recommendation letters, um, writing sample, personal statement. And um, they said, note, we invite, and the Department of um, Anthropology invites graduate student applicants interested in pursuing an MA slash PhD concurrent. So this reminds, um, reminds us of what was said earlier that um, you you can receive an MA while doing a PhD on an MSc while doing a PhD. So the first of the the first two years in your PhD journey, you do some kind of coursework, you do some kind of exams and assessment that qualifies for an MA. So yet it's clearly stated MA PhD concurrent. And remember this is a non STEM course as well. So for those saying that for a non-STEM you cannot move, this is a proof that you can actually do that. So knowledge is in power. Knowledge is power, my friends. So that is it, guys. This is the quick one I want to show you. Most of these universities, their deadlines are already passed for um, this year's admission intake. However, the application window will reopen in about four or five months' time. In August, September, they'll reopen the admissions window. And you can always apply and take advantage of these um, opportunities. And if you're interested, move straight from a BSc to a PhD. Another interesting fact is that most PhD um, admissions in the US are fully funded. Most PhD, I would say 80 to 90% of PhD admissions in the US are funded. So just try to get the admission and funding will come almost automatically. And that's it guys, take advantage of this. In case you're not aware, yes you can move from a BSc to a PhD. And in case you're not aware, yes you can move even if you're not in a STEM based course that are science, technology, engineering, medicine. If you're in political science, anthropology, um, um, drama, you are in um, English literature, you can always move. Just check for the university, check for their particular requirements, whether they need some kind of experience from you or not, or whether there's a direct movement. I think this is important. So knowledge is power. Take advantage of this, guys, and I will see you at the top. Bye-bye for now.